Over the summer, I competed in the Ram Britain and Ireland race with a crew, which meant that I was able to gain more sleep during the race than I normally would. So when we were sailing with a crew, we had a basic watch system, which was three hours on, three hours off. And we had two watches of two. And on during our three hours off, that was the time when we could sleep, we could eat, we could kind of look after ourselves, change clothes, kind of all of those sorts of things. When I'm solo sailing, I need to get back into a routine of sleeping more frequently, but for a shorter amount of time. And the maximum amount of time I would expect to sleep on a solo race would be around 30 minutes. So we've got the Route du Rhum coming up, that starts on the 6th of November, and that's single-handed from San Marlo to Guadeloupe. It'll take about two weeks. During those two weeks, I will just be catnapping for the whole time. So I sleep on a bean bag down here, or sometimes I will sleep in my chair on deck. Um, over a 24 hour period, I'll be looking to gain a minimum of four hours sleep, taking in 30 minute naps or naps of 30 minutes or less. Um, and I'm constantly looking for opportunity to sleep. So if I've got a really stable patch of weather or the boat's going very well, then I might try and bank sleep when I can. But then I'm also constantly kind of trying to assess my levels of fatigue um, because being extremely tired can affect your decision making as well as your physical ability to do things. And so I just do things like I do mental arithmetic in my head to see how tired I am or I kind of think about whether I've eaten enough or whether I've drunk enough and always asking myself the question, do I need to sleep, do I need to sleep and if the answer is yes and there's opportunity then I'll definitely take a sleep.